Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to install Near Automatra uh, Texture Mod with the reshade. So once you have reshade installed and downloaded and added, I'm gonna show you the rest because reshade kind of self-explanatory. You just go through and do all that. So you go to Nexus Mod, you get your HD texture pack, wait for it to download. Now I don't know where you're supposed to store the texture pack. I made either the SK dot or dash res file, and then I put it in the rest in here, and then it injects or I made this just in case, which I don't know which one it's pulling from, but it's just that name and the rest of the files are in there. So I'm not sure which one is important, so I just did both and it worked. But anyways, back to the rest of the video. Steam Community Guide for this texture mod, Near Ultima Tra HD Texture Pack, just Google that, It'll be like the first thing you find. And then go down to Far Fix. And then from here, we go to the Steam section, click the form, click installer, install it, which will give you this program here, and then do your directory and all that. And then go to Archive. Once you have Archive installed, it should pull up this, and we want this. So for 64-bit uh, systems, if it's 32, click the other one. So 64, copy, put in your directory for the game, and then this is where we're at with the rest of this tutorial where you drop in here, you name that uh, DLL, the special K one, you want to rename that to DXGI DLL, and then your reshade, you want to rename that DXGI to reshade 64. So the DXGI that you download from the special K tutorial on Steam is right here, and then your actual reshader you want to rename to reshade 64.dll this will not work unless you go into the far settings here and you go to down here and add import reshade architect x64 file name reshade 64.dll role third party when early once you have this information you save it you can actually run the game and then your mods will work with the reshade and the texture mod because i it took two days for me to figure this out and i figured Name i might as well make a video so i'll show you how that looks real fast in game okay we'll load the game and the way to check this is you go to the campsite and the container should have the texture and i do know my reshade mod is on because my fps will drop to 60 frames and typically it's 120 without reshade and i can also hit the home button which will show me reshade so i hit it it's right there now, I don't know why my screen artifacts with this wave effect that you see on the screen. I'm not sure what's causing that, but it's not that big of an annoyance. If I could figure out a way to get rid of it, I would. But yeah, so there's the textures right there. And then when you go outside, my mouse sensitivity is really low. I gotta adjust that real fast, but I'll do it later. I'll run out here, show you guys how it looks. And this is how the game looks with the textures and the reshader enable. And I'm only getting like 42 frames.